The upcoming Ted BF fighter jet will be powered by two higher thrust F-414 engines, and will be equipped with indigenous Acer radar, various indigenous weapons systems and avionics, and the Aeronautical Development Agency has taken several measures to reduce the radar cross-section, but the lack of a weapons bay will give it a status of 4.5 generation fighter rather than a 5th generation fighter jet. The Indian Navy is warming up to the idea of operating a fifth-generation platform eventually, but it is still not clear if it will be a naval variant of AMCA, or a new fifth-generation aircraft variant of the TED-BF that will be developed at later stages. Both the TED-BF and any future naval AMCA aircraft would also have to consider requirements for catapult compatibility that will be used on the proposed third aircraft carrier. The Indian Navy had already started discussion with Aeronautical Development Agency for the development of carrier-borne stealth unmanned combat aerial vehicle, and a new program with separate funds could be initiated in the future that will be independent from the Aura UCAF program of the Indian Air Force. A team of Indian defense officials had visited Russia in July 2021 to observe the mobility and firing trials of the Sprit STM-1 light tank, and India's interest stems from the fact that the Sprit shares the 125mm gun of the T-90 tank and fires the same kind of ammunition. Russia's Rostock Corporation has now announced that it plans to create a wheeled variant of Sprit STM-1 light amphibious tank and this new variant will be developed specifically for export. The Sprit STM-1 light tank was recently dropped from a special tower, in order to test its capabilities to withstand the overload during airborne insertion. Hindustan Aeronautics has started the preparations for the testing the company developed HTFE engines. Hindustan Aeronautics plans to certify its 25 kN HTFE-25 engine by 2025, that is planned to power the CATS Warrior in twin-engine configuration. The exhaust of the CATS Warrior will feature chevron nozzle design like the F-35 Lightning II, for reducing the jet blast noises and radar emissions. Experts have said that it is high time that India opens up the development of subsonic cruise missile technology to the private sector, while the DRDO should focus on hypersonic cruise missile technology. India's private sector firm New Space Research and Technologies is working with Hindustan Aeronautics on the development of the 200 km range Cats Hunter Low Observable Subsonic Cruise Missile, which can deliver payload over the target and can also be recovered thus significantly reducing the cost of the missiles. Another private sector firm JSR Dynamics is working with Bharat Electronics to develop four missiles of different types for Indian Armed Forces, which includes a 297 km strike range subsonic cruise missile known as Veil, the second is a 180 km range standoff weapon known as the Kargantak, and a 154 km range standoff weapon known as Wagnak, and all four missiles have less than 10% foreign content, and the firm is seeking funding from the government for its development. Kalyani Center for Technology and Innovation has already completed internal trials of the 1.56 kN jet engine, that it later plans to use in its development of subsonic cruise missiles at a later stage. Prime Minister Modi will formally launch seven new defence companies on 15 October, that have been carved out of the Ordnance Factory Board. These new companies have been named Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited, True Comforts Limited, India Optel Limited, Munitions India Limited, Avani Armoured Vehicles, Gliders India Limited and Yantra India Limited. All the indents previously placed on the ordnance factories by various services have now been converted into 66 contracts that have a cumulative value of more than 65,000 crore rupees, and the largest chunk will go to the Ovani Armored Vehicles that will undertake production of 118 Erdjun Mark 1A main battle tanks.